All right, Cybers, today we're going to be going over the Prusik climb. So the very first thing you're going to need to do is tie a middle-of-the-rope Prusik on one of your Prusik ropes. A good measurement of this is normally about to the elbow. Of course, you don't want no twist in your rope, and you want to make sure that when you wrap that Prusik around your climbing rope that you have no more than six inches from the bottom of the Prusik. When tying your middle of the rope Prusik onto your climbing rope, you want to make sure that you pass it in front of it and then passing the remainder of your Prusik from behind your climbing rope through the center of the locking bar. Now, at this point, you already know how to tie a middle of the rope Prusik, so I'm not going to go over how exactly you should be tying that. You should already know. Now, this would be a good time to check your distance in between your Prusik and your safety knot to make sure that it's no more than six inches. You're gonna to need to move your Prusik up to your Kevlar length. In between your nose and your Kevlar is a good measurement for that. And then we're gonna tie a double, double figure of eight. No need to freak out about the verbiage, okay? The same principles apply to a regular double figure of eight, but this time we're just using four strands of rope instead of two. Now you're gonna to wanna to practice this knot because the spacing in between the Prusik and the double, double figure of eight must have tension when it's in the carabiner. At this time, if you have any excess rope, you want to do some rope management. And the reason for this is to make sure that you don't get caught in your Prusik with any of that excess. Now, although there is no standard for what type of rope management you do, my partner here just did the alternate demo knot. At this point, we've created our Prusik for our body, but now we need to create our Prusik for our foot stirrups. So again, you're going to tie another middle of the rope Prusik in your rope, and you're going to attach that to your climbing rope right about waist height. Now, to make the foot stirrups in our rope, it's very simple to do. All you're gonna do is double overhand knots, and you're gonna do this every 12 inches. Just tie another double overhand. The minimum is three, but you can have as many as you like. For shorter personnel, you might wanna do four or five. And the reason why this is so important is because if your foot stirrups are too close, then you're only gonna inch your way up the rope. But if they're too far away, you might not be able to get your foot in your next stirrup so you can stand up. All right, so just a couple of talking points why my demonstrator finishes up his foot stirrups. All right, this is a great event. You will have five minutes to construct this system. Now, practice makes perfect, right? So by the time you tied this system, you should have already known how to tie Pru6. You should already know how to tie double figure baits. So this system should actually actually be really easy for you. Now I'm going to play a little bit of music for you so you don't get bored while he's tying this up, getting ready to climb. All right, so at this time, my demonstrator is going to adjust all his Prusiks to make sure it's at his desired length. Do you want one around your thigh, one up by the, that foot? He's going to go ahead and step into his foot stirrup, and then he's going to go ahead and push his Prusik as high as he can, so that way he can lean back and lift his leg up. When he does this, he can then stand up on that foot stirrup, take the pressure off his top Prusik, and then go ahead and extend it as high as he can. From this point, he can sit back as far as he wants and go ahead and relieve the pressure off his foot stirrup. Once he does that, he moves up the lower foot stirrup, steps up and continues this process till he's all the way at the top of his rope. Now, what you can see is him demonstrating how sturdy these Prusiks actually are. It's holding his full body weight as he leans and takes a breather. Now, to come down, if you want to descend, you do the same process but in reverse. So you would go ahead and sit back, lower your foot stirrup just a little bit, stand up to relieve the pressure of the Prusik up by your head, lower the Prusik down, sit back, release the weight until you get all the way to the